Hello and welcome to the Slingshot Channel. I'll soon be going to the SHOT Show for the first time in my life. Starts on the 15th of January through the 20th of January in Las Vegas, where else. <laughs> and I'll be at the FX Airgun uh, booth and we'll bring some really interesting stuff along. Because as you know, I really love these over-the-barrel arrow shooters because they're so powerful and yet in Germany they're completely unregulated. And of course, they work great. <laughs> but we'll bring a sensation along and I've been working on it for some time now and I want to give you a preview. Meet the world's first arrow gun revolver. <laughs> Let me show you a preview of its features. Why is this only a preview? Well, because in Germany there is a limit of what I can do without a gunsmith license. So I only could work on a part of the prototype. The rest has to be done in Sweden at the expert's place. But I've turned the entire arrow part here and um, the weapon is non-functioning. So it clicks and fires, but it's not shooting. And therefore I can do that here. But I can, I've already figured out all the dimensions. And now the part that the uh, Swede, Swedish guys have to do is make it shooting. Why is this only a preview? Well, because in Germany there is a limit of what I can do without a gunsmith license. So I only could work on a part of the prototype. The rest has to be done in Sweden at the expert's place. But I've turned the entire arrow part here and um, the weapon is non-functioning. So it clicks and fires, but it's not shooting. And therefore I can do that here. But I can, I've already figured out all the dimensions. And now the part that the uh, Swede, Swedish guys have to do is make it shooting. Now, as you see, there is a total of eight arrows on this and it's rotating. And you can even hear it clicking. As you see, it's as small as can be. There's hardly any space between the air tube and the uh, barrel part. And also, as you see, the fletching and of course also the broadheads really almost touch, them, touch each other and therefore this cannot be make, made any smaller, I think. Now in the end this will be a repeater. This means you have this biathlon style repeating action like clack clack. But you can really fire quickly with this. And the uh, arrows will turn automatically because a little bit of the air will be used for rotating the barrel one step further. So this really feels like a repeating, uh, you know, arrow gun that can shoot probably like, I don't know, uh, all these arrows within four seconds, so half a second for each arrow. The arrows will fly at about 300 feet per second, maybe a little more than that, which I think is good enough to hunt even a larger game. And in any case, uh, I think it's just an awesome weapon to behold. A few features of the impact, um, which is the base for this model, are really handy. Like you have this uh, selector wheel where you can select the power. And this means for practicing, I can go real low power. And if I want full power, I simply turn it to the max position and then I'm in business. As you see, I had to use a rather short uh, air container. And that is because otherwise the fletching would be in the way. And maybe we'll find some more, some slimmer fletching for production so that the air container can be larger. But in any case, this is enough for 16 shots at full power. There is a regulator right here, which makes sure that even the last shot is as powerful as the first one. So this is not one of the cheapo Chinese or Korean made air guns that lose power with every shot. And of course you can fill it uh, from a bottle of compressed air, like for scuba diving, or from a compressor, or from one of the hand pumps that are about $200. There's a lot of pumping, but still uh, it's affordable and even a good workout. This has lots of uh, Picatinny rails, and I used one to attach a very cheap bipod, um, which will probably be exchanged against an Atlas version or something like that. But it's still really comfortable to shoot. If you keep in mind that I have eight arrows with broadheads on this, it's a really well-balanced weapon. Can't wait to fire with it. Because in the end, if this is delivered from FX Airgun in Germany, this again will be a toy and it will be free to own for everybody, even for miners. But we won't sell it to miners. A very cool feature of the FX Airgun's impact model is that you can very quickly exchange the barrel. You only have to, you know, unwind the screw, then you can take out the entire barrel part, you know, like this. and snap it right back into place and exchange it with one of the pellet shooting 
uh, barrels. Therefore, changing this, this between the uh, pellet barrels, where legal, and arrow barrel is really done in a few seconds. So, should you happen to be at the short show in Vegas this January, then come and visit me at the FX Airgun booth. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you all. And also, um, I'll bring this thing along if uh, customs let me through. Let's hope so. Anyway, I hope you like this because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye.